Hey guys, it's Lisette here. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how you can bring your curls back to life, how you can get the curls to be popping, to be super defined. And I'm super happy to say that this video is sponsored by Dyson. I am obsessed with their diffuser, which has completely changed my curly hair routine, and they just actually came out with some new attachments. I'm starting off by using this gel to oil treatment and applying this in sections all throughout my hair. And I'm also using a growth oil on my roots and massaging this in just to really make sure that my hair is getting moisturized and I can really just saturate my hair with oil. I'm doing this in sections all throughout my hair and I'm also taking this time to detangle my hair so that when I shampoo later, it makes everything a lot easier. I've been noticing that my scalp is really dry, so I've been trying to pre-poo before I shampoo every time. And basically, it's just bringing the moisture back onto your scalp so that when you shampoo, you're not stripping all the moisture and like everything out of your hair and scalp, but it's just kind of cleansing the oil and keeping everything balanced. While I'm doing this, I am simultaneously massaging so that I can increase blood flow and it's time for me to put my shower cap on. You could also use just like a plastic bag and I'm putting just a little towel over my hair and I'm going to sleep. In the morning, it's time for me to wash my hair, finally. <laughs> and so this is what my hair is looking like and so I'm just going to let the water run over my hair and slowly start to detangle again because my hair is just like wanting to get tangled. Next, I'm using one of my favorite shampoos to cleanse my scalp first and just really focus on the scalp to really get all that oil off and to really make sure that everything is super clean. And all the suds, I'm just kind of bringing down towards the ends. And I also like to flip my hair upside down just to really get the back because I really wanna make sure I get everything super clean. But again, I don't really like to put shampoo on the ends directly. I just like to let the suds kind of go down on their own and sort of like, slowly make their way down there. <laughs> Next it's time for me to rinse and I'm going to condition my hair and so I'm just applying a lot of conditioner starting from the midsection all the way to the ends and again I'm just finger detangling during this whole process. Mixing in with the regular conditioner I'm applying a deep conditioner and this one actually is a protein treatment Personally for me, my hair really likes protein and I try to make sure that I do one at least once a month, but you have to make sure that your hair is not protein sensitive, so you wanna run the proper test to make sure that it's not too much for you. But while the deep conditioner is in my hair, I like to do like my normal shower stuff, wash my body, shave, and so I can actually let this sit in my hair for a good few minutes. Rinse it out and I'm ready to go. And when I tell you that my hair was soft, my hair was soft, super duper 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 soft. Once I'm out of the shower, it's time for me to actually style my hair. And so I'm using a leave-in and I like to just apply this all throughout my hair and I'm using a comb, a super gentle comb, just to run this through my hair and this also helps to clump my curls together. Onto the actual styling, so I'm doing my hair in sections and so I'm taking one section at the bottom first and I'm putting the rest up. With some product on my hands, I'm running this throughout the section and then I'm finger twirling smaller sections just so that I can define the curls. And this is really helping to clump them together and help form the curls and almost like train your curls to go back to their real curl pattern. Here I'm just applying the product in the section and then I'm taking smaller sections and just twirling them around my finger. And as you can see, when I let the hair go, it just leaves like a perfect curl and it's super defined and clumped together. And that's exactly what we're going for. So I'm doing this process all over my hair. You can honestly do this technique in just certain sections that need a little bit more extra help. But I wanted to show you guys like what it would look like all over my head. 
The only thing about this technique is that it can make your hair look thinner just because it's clumping all the curls together and they're super defined. So you wanna make sure that you're aware of that and it also can make it a little bit more flat. So you definitely need to add a little something something to help bring the volume back. To dry my hair today, I'm using my Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. And let me just talk about this for a second because I have been obsessed with this for about like three years now and I'm super excited because Dyson is sponsoring this video. The technology in this hair dryer is on a completely new level. It has a V9 digital motor, which produces like this high pressure, high velocity air. So it's really good for fast drying. It's made for all hair types and they have a bunch of cool new attachments that I wanna show you guys. This one is the styling concentrator. It's thin, it's wide, and it's really good for just styling your hair and blowing your hair out. The air is focused and you can style one section at a time without disturbing any of the other hair. This one is the smoothing nozzle, which helps to dry your hair with a smooth controlled airflow, which helps to create like a really natural finish. And at a glance, I was really confused as to what the difference was between these two, but when you see them side by side, you can definitely see that they're different. This is a new one, it's the Gentle Air Attachment and it's good for really fine hair because it's gentle air that diffuses into the air so that it's cooler and it helps to dry your hair really quick. This one is really cool because it's engineered for curly and textured hair. If you wanna add some volume, if you want to lengthen your roots to add some length, it can help you do that. Or you can use it to completely take the curl out and to blow dry your hair. It actually goes into the Dyson, so it's not going to come off because all the attachments are magnetic. And this is the one that is my personal favorite and the one that I'm gonna be using today. And this is their diffuser attachment. The air disperses evenly around your curls. The diffuser is meant to simulate natural drying, so it helps to reduce frizz and it also helps to define your curls. The Dyson regulates heat and it measures air temperature over 40 times a second. So this helps to prevent extreme heat damage and it also helps your hair to be super shiny. I've had my Dyson for a few years now and I can definitely say that my hair dries significantly faster with this diffuser attachment compared to other diffusers. And of course you can always learn more by going to Dyson.com. I like to diffuse on low heat, low air, and I like to switch in between the lowest heat setting and also using the button for cool air just so that I can not use heat on my hair the whole time. With a little bit of oil, I'm putting this on my hands and I'm unraveling all the little twists. I'm using the oil to try to prevent the frizz and keep the hair as smooth as possible. But a little bit of frizz actually makes the hairstyle look a little bit less like too perfect. So I actually like a little bit of frizz. This hairstyle will last me until the next time I wet my hair or I wash my curls. And so I'm thinking about four or five days. After unraveling the twists, I'm picking my hair out with a pick, and with this, my hair is complete, and this is the final look. This hairstyle makes your curls super bouncy and super movable, and I love how defined it makes my curls. Of course, if you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.